Probably the people just casually watching TV. The first one. This one, where she's drinking. She like looks cute drinking coffee, but she's really just sitting on the couch. Probably the one that uh, focuses on the person drinking coffee in a flattering way. She would definitely post someone for drinking coffee. Definitely the second one. People are always looking to uh, appeal to others. They want like an aesthetic that people will enjoy and click on and like and comment and all those things. They don't even care what they're posting or if they like what they post. They're just doing it because they're like, oh, I want people to like it. I want to seem like I have, like I'm popular, whatever the reason. People only post the best of the best, I feel like. Anyone can depict their life as perfect on social media and that's what most people do is because they don't want, they want everyone to think that their life is great and that nothing could possibly go wrong. Instagram is my favorite app, so scrolling through my timeline there makes me feel very uh, ugly. <laughs> First of all, girls are already jealous as it is. It doesn't matter. It's like, it's in, a, it's in you to be jealous or like care what people think, but I think you need to get to a point where you're comfortable with yourself and know like, me as a person is good enough. I don't have to look perfect on the outside. It is a problem because it's making this generation and like other people think like they have to be a certain type of way to be liked or loved or they're not, they can't be comfortable being who they are. I think it's a big problem because people are insecure when they go through and see all these perfect pictures. But I mean, when you actually take a step into society and like go out and see people in the real world, they don't, they don't look like that. I think a lot of the time it makes them feel like they're not enough, that they need to strive for that kind of level of perfection. I edit photos because I don't want people to see the imperfections in my face, like if I had a breakout or like wrinkles around my eyes. You're going to post stuff because you like it, but you also want people to like it too. So it's like, oh, like if I make it a little brighter, like it's going to look a little better. I feel like a lot of people do it. Obviously, I'm guilty of it too. It's almost a self-esteem booster for a lot of people, including me, is to know that you can portray another image of yourself that maybe, say, people don't notice or see. And so you can have this alternate personality that you can swap over to whenever you want. And I think that it's kind of a way of coping with if someone's life isn't okay or if there's, they want something to change, then they try and change it on social media, because you can. Especially, like, famous people doing it and like having like, they always have people do their hair, makeup, pick their outfits, all that, and it makes them look perfect. So then I feel like a lot of, especially like girls feel like, oh, we need to look perfect in order for people to like us. We have to wear makeup, we have to do this. And I think a lot of the times they don't realize those things are staged or that those people have a budget or they have a professional photographer behind that camera. I don't see the problem in posting, like, um, just myself without any makeup, without any filters. I think there's always room for change. I personally don't feel like I put out too much out there that isn't true. But at the same time, yeah, I think it's better to just post raw things because nothing's perfect, you know. It's normal, like, it's okay to not be perfect.